At Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Dr. Henry W. Roberts, the second president and founder of the Life Center. Thank you for joining us this morning, sir. Good morning, Chad. How are you doing? I'm well, and we wanted to talk about a convention that you have coming up this week. What is happening? It's the Gulf Coast World Convention. Uh, it's actually our church's 27th year church anniversary. Uh, we celebrate July the 24th through the 26th. Our special guests this week are Bishop Paul Martin, myself, and uh, Bishop Samuel Blakes of New Orleans, Louisiana. So you have a theme this week uh, called Perfecting Those Things That Concern Us. What does that mean? That means God's involved in everything that goes on in the universe and he's concerned about us. I mean every little detail of our lives he gets involved in and, he, and he's bringing it to perfection. So uh, when you talk about this sort of theme, how do you make sure things come together for good? Well, first of all, you just try to make sound, good decisions. Secondly, you, 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 you try to do things the way you think they should be done in a right manner. And then thirdly, treat people how you want to be treated. So when you uh, do this three-day convention, what do you want people to get out of this? First of all, to know that God is for you. Secondly, that he's working on your behalf. No matter what you're going through, how things may be seen to be attacking and negative ills are coming upon you, God's working on your behalf, and he's going to perfect those things that concern you. So what do you think is the highlight for you in doing this? For me, it's 27 years of celebration, uh, uh, Chad, without any grants, any local assistance. Just faith move, just like we're doing today. And when people thought you weren't going to make it, you're still here in the game. Talk to me a little bit more about uh, the theme. You, you talk about a God that is concerned with everything in the universe, including you and your individual life. How how does that uh, express itself? Just think about it. He woke you up this morning. They're able to sit here and watch us on television. May not, some people may not be in their perfect health, but they still have a second chance. That lets us know that he's involved. He's, he's a detailed God. He gave us eyes to see with, a nose to smell with, hands to touch with, a mouth to express ourselves and taste things. He, he, he's involved with you, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. You, the, the energy and the synergy that you receive each and every day, it comes from a source that cannot be identified. We just have to identify it as God. So talk to me a little bit about how we can see see God's path for us in our lives, how do we know we're kind of going in the way that our God wants us to go? Well, I often tell young people in particular, because many of them are just trying to start out and find that answer, whatever you enjoy doing and you get joy out of it, whether you would make a million dollars at it or not, it's your passion. Mm -hmm. And generally, he leads you in the area of your passion. And whatever you're passionate about, when you pour yourself into it, it's the leading of the Father. Talk to me a little bit about why have a convention like this. What, what is the importance of having a large gathering of believers to have listen to speakers like this? Well, one, it's to get them encouraged. In times like these, with all the different things that people are facing and going through, it's to help encourage you. Two, it's to celebrate and commemorate another year of victory for us being here in the community and doing some of the great things that we do to create change in our own little areas. And then three, it, it, it's, it's to get you refocused and, and revived. And to let you know that there's a greater day ahead, and, and God's really working on your behalf. You know, one passage from the Bible that really sticks with me when you talk about that is, Christians, just as one sword sharpens another, so do Christians do that as well. Something that you guys will be working on this week at the convention. Dr. Henry W. Roberts, the president and founder of the Life Center, thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time. Thank and you for having me. News 5 this morning will continue after the break. Faith Time.